Hey, what's up guys? This is Cole with CJC Off-Road and today we have uh, video number two on the build of my new 2020 Ram 2500 Mega Cab. I am super excited because today we are installing a Carly commuter system. I've got our best guys on this, uh, Wyatt, Oscar, and Alex. Uh, actually, shouldn't be knocking this thing out in only a couple hours, believe it or not. Uh, this is going to be phase two, as I said, uh, just the base commuter system with sway bar drops. We want to show you guys uh, as this build progresses, uh, basically what the different upgrades are that we're putting on this truck. Uh, should get the wheels and tires on tonight as well. I'm super excited and uh, let's go check out what they're doing. All right, so this is going much faster than we expected. Uh, already has the rear coils on it, rear bump drops, sway bar links, and shocks. So believe it or not, this is pretty much everything to run out the rear of these 14 plus commuter kits. Uh, this is also, uh, I'd say, the, the ingredient that makes these three and a quarter kits ride so much better than the, uh, like a standard, or even like the Carly leveling kit. Uh, sway bar end links, uh, these are a must with the taller, or actually with the coils that droop more. So as this rear suspension cycles at full droop, it drops considerably more than the rear uh, factory coil springs do. Uh, these are a must basically to keep the factory sway bar from inverting on the rear of this truck. And of course the uh, custom tuned commuter 2.0 shocks that Carly offers. Uh, these shocks are tuned strictly for trucks for on-road street rag quality. Uh, this is not um, like, you know, most people associate Carly with hardcore off-road, you know, jumping, things like that. Carly tuned these trucks specifically for a daily driver that is commuting, you know, to and from work, and it shows. Uh, this is, you know, basically the softest riding kit Carly offers for these trucks. Uh, this kit being, you know, basically just under three grand is a great entry point to having a Carly system for your Ram 2500. Um, the nice thing with this is if I want to switch this kit to a Dominator, all I have to do is switch the shocks to the 3.0 and add a couple of small components. So it's not. I'm not yanking coils, not yanking end links, all this other stuff's actually gonna stay. Uh, that is a very cool uh, element to these Carly kits, the fact that they're fully upgradable, uh, which we'll be showing throughout the build of this truck. So at some point we'll be adding other components as well, uh, which we'll get to in later videos. Um, I'd say as far as bang for the buck for under three grand, uh, there is no better riding combination for these trucks. Um, this is basically, uh, one of the most popular kits that we sell for these aside from the leveling kit and that, a lot of that's due to the price point. This kit does have a 15% reduction in weight capacity in the rear. I don't intend to tow super heavy with this truck and if I need to, I'll, I'll run Timberns in the rear, which we'll highlight in another video at some point. Um, but for my usage, I'd say this is perfect. I'm committing to and from work in this truck. Um, you know, it's gonna offer the great, you know, look of, you know, three, quarter, three and a quarter inch lift. Uh, while still offering a significant improvement in ride quality. So while they're working on this, let's go check out the wheels and tires, and uh, I'm super excited to see what's cooking. So for this build, I chose uh, Trowardy 20 inch simulated beadlocks. I did not want beadlocks for my daily driver. Uh, I know a lot of guys prefer them. Uh, me personally, I like the simplicity of switching these the tires out if I need to, like, say I'm on vacation. I don't have to manually do this myself. I can take it to a wheel and tire shop. They can take care of that for me. Um, these are custom powder coated in a bronze color, the same color in fact I used on my last uh, Ram 2500. For tires, we're going with a Nitto Ridge Grappler 38 by 13 and a half by 20. Uh, we've already used these on a couple builds, which I thought uh, were basically the best looking 2019 plus trucks I had seen. Um, I actually can't believe that we're fitting 38 inch tires on this truck with only three and a quarter inches of lift, which is really cool. Um, we will be trimming this truck a little bit accordingly, which we'll show at some point in this video. So if you're curious about the fitment on 38, so the trimming required, we'll be highlighting that in, in an upcoming video. So feel free to check that out as well. All right, so it was a long night, so I didn't really get a chance to check this thing out. It was raining, but today we have a nice sunny day. So let's uh, check this thing out and see how she rides. Now this is actually one of the most, I'd say underrated uh, suspension systems in the Carly lineup. Uh, this is actually the second cheapest Carly system available for the 14 plus Ram 2500s. 
Uh, so it, unlike the Loveland kit, which is, I'd say, probably their most popular system for these trucks, the commuter addresses the rear ride quality. So this is a base commuter system, as I mentioned before. Uh, the only option on it is a sway bar drops. You have to run either sway bar drops with this kit or a torsion sway bar. As we uh, progress on you know, adding more upgrades, things like that, we wanna show you basically what the different upgrades do. Um, so uh, there's a lot of content coming up with this truck. But um, this system here, it actually, it's actually one of the best riding kits there is for any diesel truck of any kind. So Ram 2500s, once you modify them, like with these full Carly kits, they are basically as, as smooth as you can get a diesel truck to ride. Uh, a lot of that's due to the multi-rate rear coils that Carly runs. Um, so just like their other systems, uh, these shocks on this system are custom tuned for on-road ride quality. Uh, you know, front linear rate coil springs, rear multi-rate springs, in an attempt to retain as much weight capacity as possible. All the geometry correction parts uh, necessary for, you know, a three inch lift. So uh, radius arm drops, uh, adjustable track bar, sway bar end links, bump stop drops, rear track bar drop. So all that stuff's included. So the really cool thing with this is you can upgrade the commuter system that's on this truck to something else later. But I'm actually uh, really enjoying this setup for now. So I know this kit gets billed as kind of an on-road only system. Uh, in fact, uh, this is actually, I'd say great for guys that aren't trying to do high speed off-road. Um, the main advantage of the other shock packages over this kit for off-road, obviously are the reservoirs, which help cool the shocks. If you're gonna be doing primarily low speed off-roading, I'd say this is actually a super sufficient setup. Uh, actually offers a lot more travel, just like the other, you know, the backcountry, the pentop kit do. Uh, great for overlanding guys where uh, I'd say on-road, or not on-road, but um, long-term uh, ride comfort's an important thing. I'd say it's great for that. So again, this is one of our favorite setups for these trucks, and I'd say, um, you know, if you're looking for a little more leveling kit, uh, something that addresses front and rear ride quality, this would be a great kit for you. All right, so we got a little carried away here. I realized that uh, you guys haven't seen the truck, so let's check it out. So I'm super stoked with how this truck turned out. I'd say it has the perfect stance, but there is still a lot more I have in store for this build, uh, starting from a full night edition package, uh, switching to all the you know, factory grill, headlights, all that off the night edition trucks, uh, custom Baja Designs lighting, which we have some cool ideas for, as well as Dominator and Axle Truss upgrades. So please follow along as I continue on this build, and uh, thanks for watching.